A new star says off at 3.23. EPTU pass just dropped for wave one still. And we're going straight into the patch notes. For features and gameplay in the gameplay category, they did some updates to operator mode and UI updates. It says move default binding to enable quantum drive to left mouse button. Long press for swap master mode, which is B. Optimize pitch ladder and disable thumb and top Grebo when Moby Glass is open or in a ship seat. Updated control hints to prompt to change master mode, if not in the correct mode when prompting to change operator mode. Ensure QS and PIT hints were applied for ships and fixed tractor beams, fire mode prompts only showing. Also, they did Moby Glass text readability and UI polish pass included minimap additions for grim hex they also modified ai traits to lower difficulty of early game bounty ai missions they changed the klwe mass driver and banu singe to into charge cannons with a full rebalance on damage speed lifetime and mass for arena commander they've added the ability to mute and unmute players via the scoreboard for voip and removed auto invites for parties. Under ships and vehicles, they've updated the 400i, Sulin, Hall C, Carrick external elevator panels to new standard. External elevator, there's no external elevator for the Carrick. Interesting to see what they did here. Um, under core updates, they did Vulcan. Now this is a big one for this patch. It says Vulcan render has now been enabled in Star Citizen. Uh, this new renderer will be off by default, but has been added to the graphics setting. In this first release, to focus on hardware driver issues, stability, and any major performance issues. At this point, we do not expect Vulcan to, to outperform the D3D11 on the CPU usage due to the fact that we haven't enabled multi-threading of the rendering submission yet but do expect cpu performance to be within a 30 percent margin that's uh that's pretty good once we have multi-threading enabled we expect a significant net gain on gpu side we should be closer to parity it says performance improvements and stability improvements will be ongoing throughout 3.23 with the aim to make vulcan the default and more performant and more performance implementation in a following release. In the meantime, we appreciate any and all feedback towards this. Additionally, you may see a few new folders now in Star Citizen's app data. These related to our new graphics settings file, just including the graphics render settings for now. Vulkan shader cache, Vulkan pipeline cache, and HDR will be available in the next build but for today's release sdr will be the only option please also update your graphics driver to their latest version as this can enable certain missing functionalities required for our vulcan implementation to function correctly they also did planet and weather performance pass it says optimization to the default planetary ground storm effects including removing settings that were forcing LODs to be non-deterministic, updated Hurston winds to increase chances of non-wind durations. They've adjusted transit systems safe teleport points in Orison's August Dunlow exit transit so that the player lands on the spaceport platform when the server recovers from a crash. And better shadow map memory performance optimization has also been done. This area performance optimization, physics thread performance optimization and water performance pass man this patch is heavy on performance optimization so i'm really curious to see how this turns out under bug fixes they fixed an issue where moby glass ui is misaligned they've uh, fixed an issue where maps uh screen cannot be closed by x i did notice this myself social ai presence in some areas within landing zones remain idle in their spawn closets that's a good fix. Dynamic Crosshair, Game Settings, Placeholder Text. They fixed that. Armistice Zone broken after server crash recovery. 
they fix an issue where the ball turret is grayed art with no texture so now this is going to be for the hornet series player is in return to menu after completing a match this is for arena commander they fix an issue where new player experience is using an incorrect loadout they also fix an issue where the, there is a visaria issue in the restroom and a portal issue from the airlock area in the raft they also fix an issue where this area issue at pilot and co-pilot doors for the banu defender there are several this area issues seen in the hallways and hangars of the ammo carrick which has also been fixed and they also fix an issue where interiors of the Kovalex shipping hub gundo is missing people still go there uh, but anyways missing person mission corpse spawning inside the walls has also been fixed voucher missing flt operator mode has been fixed and they fixed multiple optics range and zero distance readouts having an incorrect screen positioning has also been fixed along with this is 10 client crashes six server crashes and they fixed multiple server deadlocks you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll catch you on the next video.